first of all, when you spoke to the mayor, what, what, what did he tell you? Well, basically, he was in a lot of uh, pain and discomfort, and uh, he talked about what I was surprised about was the second biopsy and the sort of invasive kind of uh, technique that they have to go into the lungs. So we were kind of uh, floored by that because we knew about the first tumor, but we didn't uh, really fully understand just, you know, what we're dealing with here. And so, you know, that was upsetting, obviously, to hear it, and it was hard to hear how much he's struggling because uh, that's not an easy thing to go through, and he's very sick. I guess he doesn't have any more information about what's in his lungs and if it's connected to the tumor in his abdomen at all? No, no, he doesn't know, but the doctors are going to update us on that, uh, update the family first, and then, and then they're going to tell the public about what exactly uh, you know, the mayor is facing, what his diagnosis is, and what the treatment may be. How did he sound? Terrible. And I've known him for 14 or 15 years, and, uh, you know, the mayor is, whether you love him or hate him, and... I fall in the category of I have a great affection for him. I don't really care about the politics. The man himself is a, a real character and a good man. And a, I'd never heard him uh, sound as, as troubled as he did uh, when I talked to him yesterday. And how did you reach him? Was it just calling the hospital or did he call you? Or? I just called him on the cell phone. Okay. And, uh, you know, I don't really want to do that too many more times. I think I think it's probably getting close time to leave him alone. Uh, Get better. He's not running the mayor now, but you know he is an important story, and you know, I did want to find out. Uh, you know, I do my job. I do care, and I know you care too about him, and all the reporters do from a human point of view. Uh, but we also have a job to do. It is a big story, and people want to know how he's doing, and so that's why I call. On the personal side, man, you know, you talk about how you've known him for 14 years, and you know, I guess you've grown an affection for him. And how is it for you to hear that news and you know contemplate what he may be dealing with? It's devastating. I mean, it's devastating. Uh, it's a complicated relationship. It's uh, we, you know, we've had good times and bad times. Uh, he won't hold back and tell me what he thinks, and he's been critical of me, and I've been critical of him. But at the end of the day, he's a great Torontonian. He's a husband and a father, uh, and you know, obviously, uh, I was devastated to hear that. And uh, I would be for anybody that is a friend. I mean, it's a complicated. I wouldn't call it a friendship. It's more of a media friendship like we have with people in this business. I've never been to his house. He's never been to my house. That's someone that would be a friend. But, you know, uh, again, uh, he's always been straight with me, good times and bad times, so I wish him the best. What about uh, just the way he described what they'd done to him? Like, what was his how, What was his tone? Or, I mean, did he, I mean, it must have sounded like he understood the gravity of the situation, but the fact they had to do a second biopsy. He understands. He understands. His first uh, comment to me when I talked to him the very first day he was in there was that maybe the good Lord wants him somewhere else. Uh, I, he also, in the same breath, said he's going to fight it. He's a strong guy. And whenever uh, they dish at him in terms of whatever they say, and we'll know clearer when the doctors tell us. Uh, he's good for the fight, so I wouldn't count on a mirror rock for him. Has he, has he indicated at any point that, you know, he's sort of reconsidering some of his choices in terms of his health and uh, the past at all? Or? I didn't discuss that. I didn't talk to him about that. And, I mean, what, what has he talked about in terms of the next steps now? Is it just a matter of waiting for the test results? Yeah, gearing up for what the treatment may be, perhaps a surgery, things like that. Uh, you know, we'll find out for sure. I don't think even he knows at this stage, or he may know now. But, uh, yeah, I think he's getting himself, bracing himself for a fight. I mean, the bottom line is he's not running for mayor because he's too sick to run for mayor. And the prognosis of what he's been told, even in worst-case scenario or best-case scenario, was that he had some, some things to deal with, that he couldn't uh, put his attention on the mayor's race. He's hoping to recover, come back and win the Ward 2 seat, which he's familiar with, and focus on you know helping his brother Doug uh, win the mayor's race and perhaps help him when he's mayor if, if that happens and then concentrate on what he's really good at which is retail politics and dealing with constituents and, and the like of that.